everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you my makeup routine for when I go to work and for the warmer weather because it's the beginning of summer and I don't like to wear a lot of makeup because of sweating and the humidity and things like that. So I just wanted to show you a quick routine of what I do to get rid of like the redness and the imperfections on my face just to make it look like a smoother look for whenever I go to work or even if it's just if my husband's like hey do you want to go here with me real quick and I'll be like oh yeah give me like five minutes to get ready um, this is kind of the routine that I'll do sometimes I won't do as much as I'm gonna show you um, but just a simple little look for you everyday people that don't like to wear a lot of makeup but you have like redness on your face and things like that that you are self-conscious about. So yeah, we're going to just dive right into this and first I'm going to start with my primer. Now the primer I only put in like my T-zone and you'll understand why here in a second. my little ears on okay so now that we have our primer on we're gonna go in with not foundation we're gonna go in with concealer and today I'm going to be using the age rewind concealer from Maybelline and I'm just gonna focus that on where I would put my concealer originally Except I drag it down more than I usually would. Okay. So now that I have that on, I'm going to take my damp beauty sponge. This one here is from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to pat that all out. And kind of drag anything that I have left over onto the cheeks. And just spread it all around. Now this works with concealer that I would suggest is not too light. Now a lot of people, including myself, wear concealer to brighten up the under eyes. Now this one here is my actual foundation shade. So I would recommend if you're going to use concealer and do this step to make sure that it's the concealer that matches your skin and not a lighter shade because then you're going to look real ghostly and it's not going to turn out how you want it. So just keep that in mind. Ugh. I have like a scab on my nose. Thought I had a bug bite. I don't know what it was and I kept picking at it and it's really sore. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now that we have that all blended out, um, as you can see, I mean it's not full coverage, you can still see some imperfections, but it kind of like evened out the skin tone, so it got rid of like all my redness, um, not all of it, but it toned it down some. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with some setting powder, and it's the Maybelline one, it's just like the compact. And if I can open it, I'm going to take a little Real Techniques brush and just put a little bit on my brush and just set my under eyes only because it's still a little tacky and I want to like set it so it doesn't crease, it doesn't budge. And the same thing with the other side of my eye. Around your nose. your chin, your smile lines if you have any. I'm just kind of drag it around a little bit. Nothing 
too much just to tone down the tackiness from the concealer. So now for the next step I'm going to go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm going to grab my Morphe brush that looks like this and go in with that and just light handedly just to give the face some definition and to warm it up some because it's so pale from the concealer. This is very minimalist makeup, which a lot of people in reality don't wear a whole lot of makeup. So this is actually what a lot of people wear. Now me, I can't. I have to go whew, full on. So if you want to just warm up your nose some, you can, like again, just to add some definition to the face so it's not so flat. And then it's up to you whether or not you want to go in with some highlight. Um, I'm a little extra, so I'm just going to go in with my Essence Highlight. It's nothing to bam, glam, and out there. It's just enough to let the skin glow a little bit for when you're out in the sun. Gives it a little extra something. Okay, so... That's it for the face. Now, you can go in with your eyebrows. Sometimes, if I don't have, you could probably see I have like a bald spot right now because I have issues with wanting to pull my hair out. But anywho, um, usually if my brow looks like something like this eyebrow where I don't have bald spots, I usually will go in with like a brow. Uh, gel like mascara looking thing. I'm just gonna slowly fix that And like I said, it's just something quick Nothing fancy. It's just you know to make yourself look more put together awake than if you were to like crawl right out of bed so I'm not going to like you know conceal underneath the eyebrow. I'm not going to really define the eyebrow. I'm just going in to shape it a little bit so that we have nice eyebrows. And then to match the other side, I'm just going to fill this one in too. Sometimes I will use my bronzer. Um, it's totally up to the person doing the makeup. But today, um, for the video, I'm just going to go in with a simple all matte palette. It's called Mad for Matte. It's from e.l.f. You can get it at the drugstore. And this is what the shades look like. And I'm just going to go in with some brown tones, mix some tones together, and then just focus that into the crease, back and forth, windshield wiper moment movements and darken up the eye same thing with the other side windshield wiper movements back and forth in the crease so I'm gonna go back into the highlight that I went into and I'm just gonna grab it on my finger swirl it around and just top it on the lid and there you go same thing with the other eye simple tricks like this are really nice for whenever you're traveling so if you don't want to wear um, if you don't wear a lot of makeup and if you're not doing a lot of like glam looks you just want to look really nice what you can do is use your bronzer and your highlight for eyeshadow. And I'm using my um, Essence Mascara, the Lash Princess, as usual. And then just 
put some mascara on. And then the last step is to set the face and I'm using my All Nighter from Urban Decay. Okay guys, and this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as you can see, it's very simple. It would have been even quicker if I wasn't like talking to the camera and explaining what I'm doing. But literally, it takes like five minutes to do. Um, anybody can do this, whether they are just starting out or if they've been doing makeup forever. But this is my go-to makeup for when I'm hurrying up to get ready for work or if I have to go somewhere real quick and I just want to have a nice canvas on my face of um, getting rid of the imperfections and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also the post notification bell, hit that so that you know whenever I upload my videos and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. As always, stay pretty Sam fam.